Camino Huyu is a pre-Columbian site of the Maya civilization that was occupied from 1500 BC to 1200 AD. It lies on roughly the western third of modern-day Guatemala City. Camino Huyu has been described as one of the greatest archaeological sites in the New World. When first mapped scientifically by Shuk in the 1930s, it was comprised of some 200 platforms and pyramids. Why isn't Camino Huyu better known? Camino Huyu was swallowed up by the real estate developments in the late 20th century. New Guatemala City simply grew over Camino Huyu. Another reason for the lack of remains is that the ancient architecture was constructed of hardened adobe, not limestone, so the structures eroded over time. Today, only a few mounds remain. The true size and scale of Camino Huyu will never be known. On a side note, my father is an archaeologist, and his mentor, Jess Jennings, did some of the original research on Camino Huyu in the 1930s. Much of Guatemala's history and cultural heritage is showcased at the National Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology. This world-class, extensive museum is located in Guatemala City. Many of the artifacts here are originally from Camino Huyu. The Popol Vuh Museum, also located in Guatemala City, is one of the major collections of Maya art in the world. This mural is a recreation taken from a local Mayan temple. Okay, this is our stop. Chocolate Museum. Now let's go inside. Archaeologists believe that chocolate, meaning bitter water in Mayan, was cultivated as early as 900 AD in Mesoamerica. The Mayans harvested the seeds of the cacao trees, fermented, dried, and roasted them. Finally, the shells of the seeds were removed and ground into a paste for drinking. The beverage was a far cry from the sugar infused chocolate that we enjoy today. The Mayans northern neighbors, the Aztecs, could not grow the cacao tree and therefore had to obtain chocolate from the Mayans. The cacao beans eventually became a form of currency. The Spanish conquistadors who invaded Mesoamerica and defeated the Aztec Empire were introduced to the chocolate beverage but were unimpressed. They found the drink to be bitter and nearly unpalatable. They hesitated even to bring the cocoa beans back to Europe with them. When they did, however, the Spanish monks found that they could make the drink more pleasant by adding sugar to it, giving us the sweetened chocolate that we love today. Flores is a town in Peten, Guatemala. The town proper is an island on Lago Peten Itza, connected to land by a causeway, on the other side of which lie the twin cities of Santa Elena and San Benito. All three are often referred to as Flores. For most, the reason to visit Flores is its proximity to Tikal, the famous Mayan ruins. But the island city itself is beautiful, dense with colonial, red-roofed buildings and charming restaurants scattered about its cobblestone streets. Most will find that this island city is more than just a takeoff point, but a memorable attraction in of itself.
I feel like we're part of a travelogue show. We're the, we're the Rick Steves of <laughs> Central America. Oh, oh, that can't hurt. Oh, it's burning. No, no, no. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. 